I've noticed they've introduced the training mode and it's okay it's been here for a while but it's a really good way of actually learning to be a better player Yeah, there are different areas around here basically. Let's have a little look at the map. So, the area that I'm starting in, right, you can basically collect every gun you want in this area pretty much. There's um, a racetrack up here, which um, we could go and explore and have a little look around. We've got the docks here, a bridge, gas station, so yeah, even a runway over here. And if you actually look around the island, there's um, various different interesting things that you can get to. So, for example, if you um, come over to here, which is sort of like an airdrop area, you can practice skydiving in, so uh, that's kind of fun. Um, and you notice there's quite a few on the map, so here, here, where, where else, here. There's also some shooting ranges down here, which are really good. The best thing you can probably shoot is people. Um, you're actually immortal in this mode, so you can't actually die is let's go get ourselves a few guns and a rucksack, okay? Um, you really want the biggest rucksack because that means you can carry a lot more stuff, obviously. Hey guys, how's it going? So, I've had a few problems with the um, display capture. So, I kind of thought, well, I might as well show you the island. So, as I pointed out, there's already, um, there's already some um, areas of the game that we can go to um, to actually get an airdrop, and these are really, really useful if you want to get quickly around the island, um, and also practice your diving, I guess. So, I'm going to go to the racetrack first of all, okay, because um, I'm going to pick me up a nice car, so we can have a look at the island. I guess there's um, the shearing range over there, that's where everybody spawns. Crate up there. Um, there's the docks, which we can check out. And I'm just going to go and get some uh, pretty decent car from over here. Last time I came here, when I was just having a look, oh yeah. So this is a nice car, this will do very nicely. What do you reckon, should I save a bike or a car? Oh, I have to go for the bike, I guess it's faster. <laughs> Not faster if you sit on the back though. Okay, so let's go for a little look around the island. So, yeah, this is the um, driving area. I'm just going to do a lap and play some decent music for you guys, okay? Got 10 minutes left, so. So yeah, this area is actually really fun if you want to practice using vehicles, right? Highly recommend a lot of the jumps, they're pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, it is actually pretty serious practice. So next I'm going to go to the docks briefly. Um, actually we pre-recorded this um, video and last time I completely forgot the docks, so it'd be interesting to see what's there. So here we are, here are the docks. Now, of course, I'm not going to bother dismounting, because why would I do that? So, if I lose my bike in the water, I'm going to be pretty upset, but uh, I'll try not to. <laughs> so, I don't think there's much in the docks, actually. A few um, cars and things. Let's... 
does look like there are boats here, guys. So if you fancy going for a little cruise up and down, um, let's actually have a little go. Look, we can, oh, that's not how you boat. Oh my gosh. Okay, looks like I'm in the boat. Okay, so you can have a little, um, I am curious. I wonder how far we can go out on this um, map. Probably not that far. What the heck are those things? Can we actually like jump over them? Oh, I think we can, but... Wow, there is a crazy motion blur on at the moment. Anyway, I won't dick around too much with the boats. Uh... Okay guys, I guess we're over the bridge now. So yeah, um, actually the driving area is pretty sweet for um, driving and using jumps and things. Okay guys, I've got five minutes to show you guys around. So this is the shooting range area, right? Now, I've already shown you where you can pick up your guns and stuff. Um, probably most people are going to be um, done with the game by now. But um, yeah, there's sort of various different areas that you can kind of shoot in. Um, so I'll show you um, where the guns are, I guess. So, I'm not getting off my bike, by the way. These are the um, accessories, right? You definitely want to come in this area to get yourself a big rucksack. I've already said the importance of a big sack. Um, it's absolutely vital to have um, a bigger sack as you can, preferably level three sack, which is uh, the sack you can get most stuff in. Then you've pretty much got a really good selection of all of the guns here, which is, well, really important. Um, again, I think a lot of the guns are duplicated here. Um, notice that everyone's kind of logged off already, it's because I've been on the server for a while now, so they're all kind of gone. Um, which is kind of hilarious if... because you can kind of... <laughs> push them around a bit, I guess. Um, okay, so... There's, I guess, not loads more. Um, we started off with um, using the um, airdrop, which was pretty sweet. Uh, if you guys want to grab an apple, if you're hungry, there's some apples here. There's also some grenades that you can lob at people, which is uh, pretty good. And uh, what else is there? Well, I guess we could go have a look at the range quickly before our time runs out. We've got three minutes left. Uh, okay, there's some melee weapons on the left there, so if you want to try hitting someone with a saucepan, that's a great idea. Um, shooting range here, which is um, pretty good. Let's get off have a little go, I guess. Awesome, so okay, let's have a little go, shall we? Now, there are sites um, in there with the accessories if you want to use them, but to be honest, it's kind of good to get a bit of practice without sites. 
first thing I do when I um, get a gun is I check what mode it's in. So. So yeah, you can um, sort of mess around and have a look. There's actually quite a lot of um, different things and uh, different things you can do. So there's a lot of different um, range type stuff. Uh, I guess we could have a little look at that. Two minutes left of the video, guys. Two minutes left. What, what can we do in two minutes? Imagine if you're some kind of creature that's got two minutes to live. I mean, <laughs> uh, that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? I guess there are. Oh, it kind of sounds funny when it goes backwards. <laughs> it's kind of cool to reverse a bike like that anyway. So, yeah, like I say, various melee weapons. So as you can see, there's, um, you know, various um, sort of air things that you can do. So I can't actually shoot on the motorbike, I don't think. But good to get some target practice in. And I tell you, the other thing is, it's good for everyone. Well, it's good when everyone's running around. Because um, then you can actually shoot people, you know, um, which is obviously what the game's about. Oh, okay. He's on a special seat. <laughs> Honestly, some guy in a war zone and he's sat on the back of a bike going, Giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> you can just imagine it. It's a bit crazy, eh? I guess. This fat car's on fire. Again, there's some um, for duplicates of the basic weapons in there. And yeah, there's only one minute left. So I guess what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to see how far we can swim, maybe. Give this guy a good send off. Or there's a jump at the end of here. I wonder if we can jump the fence. I doubt it, but who knows. I believe... I shouldn't sing, it might be copyright. Wow! Didn't even fall off. Oh, goodbye, motorbike. He was a good friend. What? <laughs> Stop spinning. Stop spinning. No. Oh no. Okay, well thanks guys, thanks for watching. My time's up, so I'm gonna be booted off. Look, I won the game. That's probably the only one sad enough to actually stay to the end. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this game. And right, see you soon guys.